Happiness doesn't come through external acquisitions, but happiness is a quality to be cultivated inwardly. Bhikkhu Bodhi is a Buddhist monk and the president of the Buddhist Association of the United States. He became a monk nearly 50 years ago while living in Sri Lanka. Before that, in 1973, Jeffrey Block lived in Borough Park. I grew up in a Jewish family in Brooklyn, though my family was not religiously observant. It was, they were secular Jews. And so I was just sort of maybe unconsciously seeking some kind of spiritual alternative to, you know, a secular materialist way of life. Now 74, he and a few other Buddhist monks and nuns live here at the Chuang Yen Monastery in Putnam County, New York. This serene setting provides a tranquil place for those devoted to studying and practicing the ancient teachings of the Buddha. Inside the Great Buddha Hall sits the largest indoor Buddha statue in the Western Hemisphere. The Buddha was a historical person who lived in Northeast India in the fifth, usually they take it to be the fifth century BC. He was a human being, not a deity, didn't claim to be. Bhikkhu Bodhi sat down with me to talk about the meaning of Buddhism. The Buddha's teaching is fundamentally concerned with the perennial human quest to avoid suffering and to find happiness. He says the Buddha believed in what he described to his disciples as the Four Noble Truths. He pinpoints the origin of suffering to be craving, selfish, blind desire, and that the end of suffering comes through overcoming craving. These figures under the Buddha represent enlightened beings, kind of like angels. They remove the obstacles for those of us who are unenlightened to better learn the teachings of the Buddha. Happiness comes not by pursuing happiness directly, but by living an ethical life, a life which is grounded in the principles of altruism, of loving kindness towards others, compassion for those who are suffering, and developing the mind. Bhikkhu Bodhi develops his own mind by practicing daily meditation. In order to develop that power of concentration, what is necessary is to make the effort to collect the scattered mind. As for his own lifelong journey toward attaining enlightenment, have you reached enlightenment? Oh, certainly not. It's still a long way off. I'm still a relative beginner. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.